Well, the big question is, can Paris achieve a lasting and sustainable legacy? Well, for the latest on what has been agreed or not so far, TRT World reporter Kiri Blenkinsop joins us now from our newsroom. Kiri. Thanks, Tyg. Well, world leaders uh, have in fact basically done their part. Most will now head home. They'll uh, leave the rest of the work to experts who will now attempt to thrash out a deal to rein in rising temperatures. Uh, of course, this summit is taking place against the backdrop of a global terror threat. It's, of course, been just weeks since those deadly attacks in the French capital that killed 130 people. Now a minute silence was held for the victims at the summit and world leaders offered their condolences. Uh, they also addressed what's being called the coincidental convergence of global warming and terrorism. You can't pit the struggle against terrorism against fighting global warming. They're two big world challenges that we have to overcome because we have to leave our children something more than a world free of terror. We owe them a planet preserved from catastrophe, a viable planet. And what should give us hope that this is a turning point, that this is the moment we finally determined we would save our planet, is the fact that our nations share a sense of urgency about this challenge and a growing realization that it is within our power to do something about it. We need the world to know that we are headed to a low emissions, climate resilient future and there is no going back. So a, a lot of talk, a lot of rhetoric, but the big question, of course, is are we going to see any concrete progress? Uh, despite decades of struggling negotiations, uh, which were, of course, marked by the failure of that previous summit in Copenhagen six years ago, this time there's much more optimism that some form of a landmark agreement could be sealed by mid-December. Now, some of the key points here is trying to keep a further increase of global temperatures to around two degrees Celsius, a fair deal between rich and poor nations and whether a deal will be legally binding. Uh, the urgency of a deal made all the more clear in Beijing and India uh, as the summit opened in Paris, the capital of the world's two most popular, populous nations, were blanketed in a choking smog in Beijing. An orange pollution alert, uh, the second highest level, was issued there. Now, we also heard at the summit from Britain's Prince Charles. He's a passionate environmentalist. He likened the planet to a sick patient and said that if they'd presented to hospital, they would have been treated by now. Thanks so much, Kerry. We will leave it there.